And so Brett is someone who coached the old world record holder to break the old world record. Um, what do you see? Can you take us through through it from your experience? Yeah, look, it's 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 actually really interesting, and I, and I do want to say this to people that um, I ha I was very excited yesterday for the possibility of the world champ uh, the world record being broken, uh, only because I love to see the sport move forward and. Look, I feel like I've been living with this world record as part of me because I helped coach it for the past 13 years. And I've gone through a range of emotions with this thing, right? At first, there's an immense pride. And then there was actually a period of um, kind of uh, being very defensive towards it. We, we, we had this outcry of uh, it was a cheater's world record because we had these suits, right? And, and this whole mm -hmm. suit you know, controversy. And so I went through a period of time where I vigorously defended this world world record, you know, for many years. Um, then I went through a period of like, okay, um, I, I want I want someone to get it. And then now the real possibility of, of, of somebody coming up on it, there, there's been a number of people recently, actually, with, with Dressel and Chalmers and um, Kalishnikov and, and many guys around that mark. And I was, I was hoping that somebody would... Um, but I was on a, I was, I was about to, I was about to lay down yesterday and I felt a real sense of um, kind of depression after about five or six hours, George, that this world record was gone. You know, it's like something that when it's taken away from you, eventually you, you do feel like, wow, that that's kind of sad. So in terms of it being gone. And so I had a moment where I actually reached out to Caesar and uh, we, we actually got to start to talking about this world record. And it's funny, he said he felt the same way in terms of, um, you know, the happiness he felt for David, uh, but then the sense of kind of loss as well, you know. And uh, so we kind of had this moment together yesterday, Caesar and I, and we were reminiscing about it. And, and it did bring back a lot of memories from that moment of when we actually broke this record in Rome and... Um, and the preparation that went into this world record too. I mean, you were part of that preparation with us and, and the work that we did. So you're very in tune to the type of work that we were doing. It's it's nothing like the type of work that David Popovich is doing. Uh, from what I understand, he's doing, you know, 60, 70, 80 kilometers a week. That's not what we did to prepare for this thing. We took it more from the, the sense of, um, you know the the power and the and the explosiveness and um, you know the back end endurance was obviously important to us, but it wasn't it wasn't a main focus. The main focus was actually getting out with speed. And I think if you look at the world record, Caesar went out at that time in twenty two one, so a much faster front end. And that was kind of the way that we were approaching it back then, George. Um, we were we were very much on the attack. You know, like we wanted to get out in front and we wanted to stay out in front. That was kind of the mindset of like, break them early with your speed, use your strengths. Our strengths, obviously, for most of the guys in our group at that time, you included, you know, Caesar and Fred Busquet, our, our strength were, was our speed, our top end speed. And so we, we as a group wanted to use that. And that was kind of the idea behind it. I do remember getting some analysis, kind of like what we just looked at um, after the semifinal. And, and thinking to Caesar, like, uh, you know, working on his stroke length a little bit, I remember, I remember saying to him, you know, you went out in um, this many strokes and you came back in this many strokes. If we, can, if we can come out, if we can go out with a few less and come back with a few less, I think you can break this world record. And so that was kind of the idea of, like, going out with speed but not trying – too hard to go out at that top end. So, like, I think we went out in twenty two one, but it was a, it was actually a comfortable twenty two one, which then wow. enabled Caesar to come home under that twenty five seconds. Now, what what Popovich is doing here, coming coming back in twenty four flat. I mean, it's just it's another world in terms of thinking, but but also in terms of the way Caesar went out was twenty two one. That's a whole another world for Popovich to think about too. So. I guess it's always that balance between the speed at the front and the endurance at the back, right? And and playing with with your strengths 